All right, today I'm going to reveal to you what feeling is a secret means, and I mean the real way Neville Goddard taught it. And this will be a huge eye opener for some of you. So listen closely. You know, when I ask people, what's a secret to manifesting? They're so quick to say, it's feeling, Josh. Feeling is a secret. And I say, good. What is feeling? Define it for me. And they're like, uh, <laughs> and they don't know. But then there are those who do define it and say that feeling means emotion, emotion, where they say you always got to be happy and excited all the time in order to manifest what you want. But is that true? Here's a shocker. No, <laughs> that ain't true. Okay, so what does feeling really mean then? Here it is. Ready? When Neville Goddard talks about feeling, and he's very clear on this, he doesn't mean emotion. Okay, He doesn't mean emotion. But he defines feeling as the acceptance of the fact that your desire is already yours, that it's already done. As his famous line goes, you must assume the feeling of the wish fulfilled. The wish fulfilled. Already done. Another word for feeling could be knowingness or confidence or even attitude. But a knowingness or confidence of what? That what you want is yours. Simple as that. From the quote unquote big stuff like the new job or house you want to even the so called little things like what you're going to eat later. Seriously. Because remember, everything's a manifestation. You're always manifesting. You're always assuming things good, bad, or indifferent. And let me clarify I'm not against aiming for strong, positive emotions when trying to manifest for what they could imply. But understand that behind the strong emotions, like joy, excitement, or isn't it wonderful, is what? A knowingness, a confidence that it's done. Right? You're joyful because you know. You're excited because you have it. But if we're just talking about straight manifesting, anything, strong positive emotions aren't necessary. But what about when people say that they did visualize and feel it real, but then nothing happened? For them, what do I mean? For example, they imagined themselves feeling and counting cash in their hands, or they saw and visualized a new car they wanted, and it came true, but not the way they expected, where they ended up counting their friend's cash or their boss's money, or they saw the car they want, but it was only on TV. So yeah, they manifested it, but it wasn't theirs. In other words, there was no sense of ownership. You see, the power's in its implication, because when you feel it's yours, you're like, now that I have such and such, I'm going to do or have X, Y, and Z. Is this making sense? So there you go. Know what you want and accept that it's already yours, that it's already done, and make it about you. Then just watch. It'll manifest in your world. Let it happen because you get what you believe. Yeah. All right, if you appreciate this video, hit that like and subscribe button and that bell to help support my channel. And if you're ready to live the life you really want, then yo, click the link below to learn more about Law of Assumption Mastery. How to manifest anything the Neville Goddard way. Like I always say, more's coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.